Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a review of the Huion Inspiroy Dial 620M. This is a product I've wanted to try for a while now. Uh, I've been really intrigued by the versatility of these tablets. Uh, they're super lightweight and you can take them anywhere. You can stick them uh, in your sketchbook. Uh, let's say you have a laptop, you are got it in your backpack, you could pull this thing out on a park bench and start digitally drawing. So that was one component to these that really intrigued me. I have a, a 10 year old Wacom Cintiq 21 UX and it's a monster. It weighs a ton, I can't take it anywhere and it costs $2,000. So I, I really wanted to have one of these added to my drawing arsenal and I think after you guys watch this review, you'll understand what the benefits are and some of the drawbacks to these as well. The setup for this was super easy and fast. I don't wanna say it took me like five minutes. Uh, I just used the USB to plug into my computer and download the drivers. The software for it was super easy, was um, like immediate, right out of the box, I could start drawing on it. I could start a drawing within five minutes of opening this box and trying everything out. So the quality of the build on everything, it felt pretty good. Uh, it feels a little bit more lightweight, like the pen than my Wacom pen. Um, but I felt like I could draw with it all day if I wanted to. I mean, every artist has their preferences, but, and I'm not super ultra picky, but it has a good width to it. It felt good in my hand. Um, and I definitely felt like it was acceptable for sure. So let's get into what it's like to actually draw with this thing. Uh, so let's talk about the tablet. You've got this dial on the left side. Um, you can either use it to zoom in um, on your screen or you push a little button in the center and you can adjust your brush size. Uh, you can use it to scroll as well. Um, the feel of the pad I feel like is great. It's actually one of the advantages of these pad tablets. Um, I have a, a Apple iPad Pro and that's got a very glossy, smooth surface. Um, I prefer the feel of the tablet. Also the sensitivity, uh, the brush width, the pressure sensitivity on this is really good as well. I feel like that's definitely something as far as bang for your buck uh, that you're getting with this is that pressure sensitivity on a $100 item that allows you to really control your drawing. So on the left side of the tablet, you also have these shortcut keys. Um, these are pretty standard. If you've looked at these or used one before, uh, you can set these hotkeys to pretty much anything. Um, some of them, you know, your hand tools, so you can move around the drawing faster. Uh, you've got, you know, different brushes you can um, attach to these. Basically anything you want on those, and they're really handy to have. I'm gonna talk now about what it felt like to draw with this thing. So like I said, I have a 21 UX Wacom, huge beast of a machine, um, much more intuitive to draw with because you can actually, you know, the pen lines up to the thing you're drawing. Same with the iPad Pro, more intuitive. Uh, so what are the benefits of using this? Well, one, flexibility. Like I said, I can take this anywhere, hook it up to a laptop, draw anywhere I want digitally. Um, two, the, the feel, the surface feel of this thing is, is great. Sensitivity is amazing, just as good as some of the other stuff I have, uh, so I don't feel like I'm limited there. The learning curve is the tough part about this thing. Um, it's something you have to get used to for sure, but I do feel like it happened pretty quickly for me. Like I started to get a feel for it, and it started to feel more and more natural. Now, the huge benefit to that is the ergonomics of this. You can sit back in your chair, you can set this thing on your lap or on the desk in front of you. You're not hunched over anything, and that is a big benefit. In this part of the video, I wanted to show you guys an actual um, first time user with the Inspiroid dial. Uh, this is my daughter, Elena. She loves to draw, and she's really used to the iPad Pro, which, like I said before, it's a little bit more intuitive when you you can look down and see what you're drawing. Yeah. So she's gonna draw on this. I'm gonna kind of film her and you guys can get an idea of what it's like if you have never used one of these before um, and how it might look and how the drawing you might be able to do. 
Elena has really good hand-eye coordination. She draws pretty much every day. So I was actually curious myself as to you know how she would uh, react to this. And because it is, you, I mean, your hand is, when you draw every single day and you're used to seeing your hand make those marks uh, with the pen tip, there's definitely an adjustment to this. But I was really surprised at how quickly she picked it up. And she did say, you know, it's a little bit awkward because like I said, you just really want to see what your hand is doing, and instead you're looking at the screen. Um, after a while, though, she definitely started to get used to it. And like I said, this is something that you have to work out a little bit, but I think the reward for you know sticking with it is huge. For one, this is the best, one of the best entry ways to get into digital art. You can use this tablet with, I think you can even use it with Samsung phones. So you don't, this is about as cheap as you can get into digital art. Uh, right now it's Black Friday today or tomorrow. And I think this is on sale for 87 bucks. So 87 bucks for something you can produce really good digital artwork with is a no brainer to me, especially since I have an iPad Pro, which is $1,200, a Cintiq, which cost me $2,000, and I would still use this. I also wanted to mention uh, the Clip Studio Paint, which is what we're using to draw on. Um, I have never used Clip Studio Paint before, and I am really impressed. I have the Adobe Suite. I'm a designer for a living, and so I'm very familiar with Photoshop. I really think Clip Studio Paint is really a great drawing uh, program and I got it for 25 bucks. That's so cheap. One time payment, 25 bucks. And it's a really good drawing program. So I'm going to do probably a, do a review on that in the future because I was really impressed. I had never used that before as well. Uh, so this tablet matched with Clip Studio Paint, you, under 150 bucks, you can do really good digital art. Uh, if I were you guys and I would, and you're interested in digital art, this is exactly how I would get into it. The drawing tablet is a great size. Clip Studio Paint is a great pairing for it, and it's cheap. So having said that, um, in conclusion, like I said, I think this is a no-brainer. If you're looking to get into digital art, uh, this is a great jumping off point. Or if you're just, you have other stuff and you want something that's a little bit more versatile, um, this is also a good option, because that's what I'm gonna use it for. So anyway, that's the video, you guys. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, so I have big news. I have a brand new house that I bought, and we moved, and so I've been doing nothing but moving for the last month. So uh, I plan to have more videos coming out soon, um, but until, until next time, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later.